From 11.40 to 12.05, you have a meeting in the Grand Hall to receive diplomatic credentials from the ambassadors of the Dominican Republic and Zambia. Do they speak any English? I believe so. Oh, good. I hate it when they don't even try. You know, whenever I go to a foreign country, I always try to learn some phrases, you know, gives me an edge with the people of that country. You know, shows I did my homework, shows I care. Some people come right in here, no effort, no effort whatsoever. Not in their national character. Why, they'll never be superpowers like us. From 12.05 to 1.05, you have your open hour, at the end of which we thought would be a good time to have your meeting with Mr. Presley. From 1.10 to 1.30, you have an informal meet and greet with 150 or so White House volunteers in the state dining Elvis, room. Elvis Presley. Yes, sir, the entertainer. Oh, I know who Elvis Presley is, yes. Who the f set this up? You know, Crow, guys like that who are just born good-looking, well, you obviously know. They never had to work for it, if you know what I mean. Not me, you know, I had to make something of myself to get a girl to notice me. It wasn't just handed to me by some sort of genetic lottery. I wasn't born looking like a Kennedy, you know. But that's why guys like me are survivors. But guys like this uh, Elvis fellow, no, underneath all that, uh, they're weak. They wither at the first sign of trouble. They just crumble like a sand dune. Who's he? He's our driver. He's down. Meaning he's hip. He's cool. Walk with us. Look, we want to make this work just as much as you guys, but he just doesn't see the value in meeting Elvis. So there's nothing we can do today? Nope. What about tomorrow? No. How about something casual? Not even a meeting, like a drink or something. Look, Jerry, we tried. He's just, Nixon is, he's just old fashioned, right? He's from a different era. What about Saturn? Maybe a coffee? No, 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 the president is going to be at Camp David all weekend with his wife and daughters. His daughters. Hmm. Yeah. Gentlemen, I think we have a solution. I was telling one of the gals outside, it reminds me of my Graceland. Oh, uh, it does, does it? Uh, how many square feet uh, is uh, this uh, Graceland of yours? Not sure. 10,000, maybe? Well, that is a fine size for a home, isn't it? Well, it's, I mean, it's more than fine. Of course, the White House here is, I think, about uh, 55,000 feet, something like that. Well, actually, I've made a few additions, so uh, maybe a little more than that, but I don't think it's the size of a man's home that defines him, you know? M&Ms are my favorite. Oh, mine too. <clears throat> so, Mr. Presley, how can I help? Did you know that The Hateful Eight with three words is the longest title for a film directed by Quentin Tarantino? All the titles of his previous films only consisted of two words. For example, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Inglorious Bastards, Django Unchained or Kill Bill. What's your favorite movie directed by Tarantino? Let me know in the comments below and click here for more cool videos. Thanks for watching. See ya!